What's up guys and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 4 and I gotta say whenever I am not playing this game all I can think about is playing this game. It's been like a day since I last recorded it. Oh my gosh, I just wanna play it again, you know? Before we go, like, okay, we made our way into the Galactic Ranger, so we're gonna go into the uh, crash course there. But before we do, it looks like we do have some stuff we can get. So, at least some ammo, maybe some bolts. Let's look around for a little bit. Some people have been saying they want me to do more action, less exploring, and I'm definitely on board with that. So, I'll probably um, try to make the episode just a little bit longer. All right, so it looks like we can just sort of get back to everything we want to get back to here. So for right now, let's check out the Gadgetron vendor and see what we got. I'll get over it. I'm going to do what I want to do. And first, we're going to be buying uh, Mr. Zircon. All right, let's see. What should we upgrade? Did we get the cluster from Pyrocitron? Not yet, not yet. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's buy this and that. Um, and then it, go ahead with that, an extra dimensional tank. Hydro displacer technology is repurposed to restore a massive amount of pyro, pyrocytic, I don't know why, but the font really messes me up here. Fuel in a tiny tank, increasing ammo. So more ammo, awesome. So we got like super big ammo there. All right, and we'll go ahead and try to get more of this going on if we can. Like we have a lot, we have four, we have four points left. So I'm gonna go ahead and then boop, boop, and then that's all I got cash for, right? No, I got enough for, uh, here, oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, let's go for that. That seems all good to me. So let's get started with this. All right, oh, this looks so cool. Oh, man. And welcome to the Captain Quark Fingers Course. Here you'll work on your physical strength as well as your, uh, why are you so violent? Do you expect some sort of extra points or something? Of course. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. It just it throws me back to when I was a kid because I thought the courses were so cool. I just thought it was a really fun challenge as a kid. So this is just so darn awesome. Let's go ahead and get started with it then. Just making sure we're not missing any good chunk of bolts or something. All right, let's go for it. And this should be a piece of cake with our uh, clank upgrade that we got in the last episode, which you totally should go check out if you haven't already. Yeah, let's bounce up here. All right, hmm, nothing over there, okay. And it looks like it's not timed or anything. It's just go ahead and take this stuff out, you know, go through it. Maybe later it'll be time. It'll be cool if you could do it again. On reaching the summit of justice. That's what you're calling it. Burning with righteousness and pain. <laughs> now we're good. Here, what are we doing here? Uh, oh, I didn't even, I don't know why I keep missing these. <laughs> All right, slinging across here. And before, in the original game, you had to do these courses to get that slingshot we just used. So it's interesting how it's just so different here. Time to ascend to the Tower of Power. The here Tower of Power. Platform to platform, but tread lightly. These pieces will move to one position, and then without so much as a warning, shift to an entirely different position. Ooh, momentum, moving. Things you would ever expect in the real world. Trained here in Captain Quark's facility. Or something like that, right? Really beef it up. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. But I'm glad that we do have a little bit of cash left over after buying the uh, Mr. Zircon, which I'll be glad to use soon. Mr. Zircon's amazing. Like, he'll actually just go ahead and beat up enemies for you. All right. Oh, this is very similar to what it used to be, though, which I love. It definitely, I feel like it's easier so far, personally. Like, I remember the uh, course actually being a good bit of a challenge back when I was younger. Oh, I mean, even just playing through it more recently. The original course would make you fall from time to time. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but this is not too bad so far. Here, let's try to get up here. No, we need more time. All right, all right, come on. All right, ooh, 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 ooh. Nice, okay, we made it to the top of the Tower of the Power. The Tower of Power. Get to the main platform to claim your prize, Ranger. Oh, a prize, oh boy, what? I thought there was gonna be, wait, why did I burn my butt there? I thought that was gonna be another slingshot. All right, Geronimo, this is what we were supposed to be doing. All right, it works, it works, whatever way, we got it now. All right, it looks like we get our gold bolt for this, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and get our second one. Thank you. Jeez, it's so huge. <laughs> Hooray, nice, two out of 28, wow, that's a lot. Okay then, so I didn't see that number before, but now that I see it. Why are you so violent? You asked me that last time. All right, let's get into this taxi and get the heck out of here. And... Just finished my training course. Aren't you just full of stuff you can do? Meet me outside the Hall of Heroes. I have an assignment for you. All right. 
Well, that sort of sounded a little ominous. Oh, there he is, hey! <laughs> How are you down there? I don't know what he's got in store for us, but hopefully it's something good, and not something like devious, which it's probably the latter, unfortunately. All right, let's go and talk to him. Come on, Quark, I'm coming over. Since you're now one of us, I thought it was time to get you a new ride. Whoa, Ooh. a Class G Star Jumper? Is this for me? Technically, it's Galactic Ranger property, but if you survive, uh, complete this super secret yet completely on the level mission, she'll be yours to use however you like. What is this secret mission? I call it Operation Falling Star. Congratulations, Cadet. You've been selected for Operation Falling Star. Galactic Ranger Intel tells us Chairman Drek has a state-of-the-art weapons lab in Nebula G-34. Your mission is to destroy his top-secret project without, and this is important, telling anyone. Ever. Seriously, this is our little secret. Sure, but I don't see why... Please save your questions until the end of the presentation. You'll need to access Drek's laboratory using a trespasser, your wits, and the kind of fortitude normally found in more... Season Ranger. Get in, destroy whatever he's working on, and get out. I'll monitor your position from here. Good luck. Okay. I wish I could be there to see you off, but I have an urgent appointment with my acupuncturist. Call me when you arrive at Nebula G34. I'm counting on you, Ratchet. You got it, Captain. So it looks like we have some choices here. I love that, like that paint job we got going on. That's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, this whole game's beautiful. There are still parts of Nebula G34 that we must investigate. Mm-hmm. So we could do Iridian. I want to. I really want to. And you know what? Life's do is all about doing what you want, right? <laughs> as long as you ain't hurting nobody. Go ahead and go to whatever the planet was called. And here we are. Planet Iridian. I remember the name this time. Oh my gosh. Now, I used to like this level a lot, too, when I was younger. And here we are, look at that face of determination. He is just happy to be alive. Oh! Is that Skid Marks up ahead? Oh. Well, that was easier than last time. Yo, yeah, what's up? Oh, man, am I happy you two dudes showed. I've been out here all night. I can't believe it, Skid Marks. I have seen every one of your races. You pulled off a triple Nova spin at Mach 2 at last year's Kerwin Cup. It's always good to meet a fan, little dude. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Your uncle received your Infobot and asked us to assist you. Oh, I was wondering if he got that. My agent and I have been running from those blog all night. Only we ended up getting separated in the chaos, and I took a gnarly fall getting out of the Skid McMark sports shack. Hey, think you dudes could clear out the sand shark so I can get to my ship? Give me my hoverboard if you do. Oh, boy. Whoa, a real McMark's 4000? Consider it done. Nice. All right, we're gonna help Skid get to the ship. Oh my gosh, this is a blast from the past. I love this. All right, we're gonna see the Sand Sharks here in a second. We gotta pull up a Mr. Zircon just to get a nice taste of this. And Zircon's a bro because he'll just start beating stuff up for you. It is beautiful. We're gonna get our level three on our combustor today as well. <laughs> I know you are Zircon and I love it for it. All right, okay. Oh boy, there's more. Oh, a new card available. Nice, nice, we'll check it out soon. Oh, and these things, you gotta take care of the big ones first or they'll just keep spawning more of them. All right, there's so many. Jeez, they look so good in HD though. Like, I really love how realized this game is. Like, I, th I was worried, honestly, some of the art style wouldn't transfer over well, but it has so well. They did a great job with it. I love it so far. Oh gosh, bullet punching. Sure, sure. There's so many of these little dudes. We're getting some rare tiny out of it too. This is a blast. All right, looks like Mr. Zircon's in and out of here. He doesn't last for super long, but enough for you to get some stuff done. I hope so. There you go, get some more ammo there. I'm starting to get a little more used to the controls though. Like, yeah, I'm really starting to get into it. Jesus, this game is so much fun. I just, I can't even get started with how much I love it. Okay, get you, get you, get you. So far, it's everything I wanted, and that's great. All right, we got a few more cards, which is great. Can I just break anything else around here? Looks like we got something to wall jump up, uh, up, up, up off of. <laughs> so excited, can't even speak. There's actually a good amount of secrets from my knowledge in this area as well. 
I know, I know, don't worry about me. Yeah, let's take care of the mothership here. Cause that's really what gives us issues. Yep, he's, that's down. All right, now I'm gonna charge through all you guys. We're almost at that next uh, level up for this gun, but we need a little bit more ammo, so I'm trying to get that here. There you go, plus 10 ammo. That should actually get it for me. Oh, look at this, I knew there was something. Boom, bust through this thing and see what we got inside, oh boy. There's just a bunch of bullets and oh, the golden bolts just waiting for us. Thank you, hooray. <laughs> That's just great. I mean, I really hope that this game does so well in sales and I hope that everybody who's been enjoying this playthrough eventually ends up buying it. I know some of you don't have PS4, so I totally get it if you can't, but I, I hope, I know, shut up. <laughs> this is the third time you've told me. It's just like, I hope this does encourage other developers and publishers to get back into the, th you know, the third person platformer game. You know, like, come on now, new Jack and Baxter, Crash Bandicoot, I can't be the only one in the world who wants some. Even a new Spyro game would be great. And I know those things aren't really possible because of reasons like, you know, other people having the rights to the game. But still, I mean, look at Ukulele. I mean, more stuff like that would be good. Cheeseburgers. Pizza. I think Quark Scrub Grab still delivers this late. All right, I'm not helping you just yet, though. That must be Skid Ship. Say so. Wait, where is it? Oh, I remember this thing. I remember thought, thought seeing these things were really cool, but uh, looks like it's off that way. I see them. There's there's about 700 of them right over there. All right, let's go and take care of many of these guys as we possibly can. Now, you over here as well. Come on, come on, come on, and they're down. And then there's one last one over here. So we did get the level three there, so that's good. Let me go ahead and switch to the pirate center. Like this should get work done for us. Yeah, let's get over here. We only have 14 sand sharks left, which is great. We burned through them. See what I mean? We're burning through them. <laughs> Puns. How do you know for sure? <laughs> how do you just know exactly how many there were? I don't know, I guess you really are good at counting them. That was pretty awesome. Thanks for your help. Here's your hoverboard. Oh, and it's autographed. Nice. To Ratchet and Clank, the chillest dudes I've ever hung out with on a hostile alien planet. <gasps> cool. <laughs> Will you be able to get home on your own? I'll be okay, though I don't think I'll be able to compete in the Blackwater City hoverboard competition. Kind of a bummer, dude. Oh. But hey, man, that's A-OK, -okay, because we'll take your spot. Hey, have either of you little dudes seen my agent? I feel kind of bad leaving him out here. He doesn't do well with nature. <laughs> All right, we'll have to go and find his agent as well. But man, let's just take in this view. One thing, it's just like, that's the fun thing about Ratchet and Clank, is it's a beautiful game and that has like these crazy settings it can just throw at you because it's just all these, you know, wild, crazy planets. Ah, oh, oh, man, I love. What are you into? Did you like bend a finger now? <laughs> All right, come on now. Hmm, I just, I can't stop looking at it. Whoa, where are we going? Oh, we're just going over here. And the music is like. Don't worry, I got a little dude. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm referencing skin now. But uh, we'll check for new weapons in just a second. It's just, it's really cool that there's remix music. It's just, it's so dedicated to the original, you know? And there's no new stuff. All right then. Alrighty, let's get started. Oh, do, do they have the like flame? Oh, they do. I see them in the background there. They have the um, the, like the torch guys. Let's get another Mr. Suricon out. Because Mr. Suricon basically levels up himself. He doesn't need no pesky ratchet. He's just, whoa, here for convenience. Appreciate your enthusiasm. You are now trespassing in a restricted area. Please vacate the construction site. <laughs> now we're good. Apparently we got that sinking feeling. I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe we found fell into some quicksand there really quick. I'm not sure. All right. But definitely, I'll be seeing. Like I'm enjoying this game so much that I will consider platinum it. I will waste your time, Mr. Zarga. You're on the mic control. Ah, uh, he has so many cool lines too. <laughs> All right, give me that rare titanium, and then that's it. Okay. See you, Mr. Suricon. Let's get actually another one out, just like that. I love how this game does have the pausing when bringing up the weapon wheel. The original game, if you brought up the weapon wheel, the game would keep going. And that ended with Ratchet 2, but I'm glad that they didn't stay true to that part. They got rid of the flaws and brought in so many new awesome things. So is this a skid statue? It is, it looks like they're building like a skid McMarks thingamajug here. So that's different than the original game too. What's going up here? 
We thank you for your interest in the Skid McMark Sports Shack. However, your refusal to leave has forced us to activate the Constructobots. Have a nice day. Thanks. Even though we got, you know, My sensors requests are by Mr. McMark to be here. Swing shot targets. I believe it may be a gadget from Trek Industries. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look around. All right. I, yeah, I mean, that's what I want to do. Oh, I see you okay, guys. My store. Hey, it doesn't look like much now, but it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have hoverboards, a swing shot course, <laughs> and even a 24-hour taco stand for this late night munchy munch attack. All right, come on, let me talk now. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about how awesome Ratchet's stuff looks. Like his new suit looks great. All right, is there any stuff hidden down there? Doesn't look. Oh, is that Rotanium? Okay, that does look like Rotanium. Yes, it is. I gotta grab that, because that's important for the game. All right. Yep, we're good, we're good. Ooh, getting a little bit more there, too. Cool, 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 let's get back out there. Yeah, I'll be trying to make these episodes a tad bit longer, because, of course, I want to take my time and really explore everything, and really get, like, you know, sunk, sunken into the adventure. Just, I'm having so much fun with it, and I want to experience it all. But I definitely see how some people really want me to get to the point of everything. So I'll definitely be trying to make the episodes just a tad bit longer, maybe. They've been 20 minutes on average recently, so I'll try to stretch to 25. Mark's here. Hey, don't let old man Winter bug you out. Visit our snowboard department. Pick up the latest. Oh, I'm tired of skid advertising to me. I've heard enough of this, but look at this. This is just like it was in the original game. No! Oh! The last second save there! Alright, going backwards, and I made it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, let's go ahead and take that up. Jeez, he just doesn't stop. Is it like a 30 second timer before a new advertisement's just thrown out there? Oh gosh. Well, hopefully, I wonder what, like, you know, definitely, I'm pretty sure they don't have every weapon that was in the original game, but I know they have some new ones too. Like, they have like some 8 bit pixelator, but I hope they have some of the weapons I remember, like, I mean, the strong ones, I'm sure, are still gonna be around. Hmm. All right, where are we going now? Oh, it looks like up there, right? Hmm. Oh, over here, okay, nice. So it looks like it'll open up. If I can shoot at it, it'll sort of signify, which is good to keep in mind. All right, it would be cool if there was like a timer <laughs> so that you could do these courses like with a timing. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know Mr. Zircon was still chilling here. Hi. Oh, and what is this? On the portable hydro displacer. Designed by Dr. Nefarious, this ingenious device promised to move water from one place to the other. Oh, my gosh, the hydro displacer. So amazing. Woo. And I love how Quark, as a narrator, is still able to throw in his tidbits and everything. Whoa. Oh, my. It's a little scary. Hey, look at that down there. That's a pretty easy gold bolt. Here, let's go ahead and grab that. All right, four out of 28. Doesn't have a fancy little underwater animation, but that's okay. There you go, and let's go and unscrew this. That's cool, that was a pretty easy one. I can't believe we're four gold bolts in already. That's just crazy, you know? All right, what's going on in here? Hmm. With just a push of a button, the duo could now fill an entire swimming pool. Hooray, is that what we want to do? It looks like we do. All right then, let's, uh, nope, fill it on. <laughs> we don't need to burn anything right now, Ratchet. Calm down. All right, we're good though, we're good. Originally designed to unclog Valkyrie toilets, Ratchet would find the Hydro Displacer invaluable in navigating the sewers of the galaxy. Valkyrie, you see them a bit in the later in the, you know, later in the series. <laughs> and I love how they just tie together the universe so well in the future series, but the Valkyrie. That's just a funny joke because they're like, I think they're like a bigger, like strong, muscly race. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and burn this dude up. Let's get this to level three today if we can. I mean, we don't have too much time to, but hopefully we run into enough bad guys. Because I think the leveling up is more representative on how much damage you do than it is how many enemies you defeat. From what it, it phrased earlier, that's what I believe is how it does. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and take care of as many dudes as we can now. Hmm, oh boy. Hey. I know, I know, I'm trying to take him out. Fire with fire, as they say. The finest selection of hoverboards, grab bikes, All right, grab bikes sound cool. I wanna hear, I wanna see what a grab bike's like. Death, okay, we'll have to see what happens then. Are you challenge me? You don't wanna challenge a zebra. Bad things happen when you challenge a zebra. He'll live up to it, or she. There's some female zebras out there, and they're all awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh. And there wasn't there a little something something over here. There definitely has to be. Oh, there's a few bad guys too. I didn't realize that. 
All right, let's take you all down. And there is a card. We actually have to do a bunch of card unpackings because we at least have three, maybe four now. There it is. I'm about to die. No, I'm not. I have 40 health. <laughs> I'm about to run out of ammo, and for some reason, my brain got it mixed up with health. All right, let's go get our fusion grenade out here, and then boom, start melting away some of these dudes. Boom, boom. And then is that it? Of course it ain't. There's always more. All right, now that's everybody. Close to the level two here. Hmm. All right, then let's go ahead and open up those cards now. Card collection, and let's see. Ooh, we got ourselves five different cards there. So I, I double checked on this. We have seven duplicates, which means we can buy a card. And they're sort of like in different, uh, like, you know, sections here. So there's three Velden cards, there's three Noblest cards. So like we can spend five duplicates buying our missing uh, Velden cards. So we can go ahead and trade duplicates for that. Nice, and we get Grimroth. So Grim, okay then cool, trade up. Then completing holo card sets give you, gets you the internal admiration of collectors across the galaxy and some enhancements on your equipment. But really, it's all about the collector cred. <laughs> what enhancements do we get though? That's what I'm confused about. So complete, all right, the rate at which holo cards drop has increased by 5%. So I'm guessing eventually we get some other stuff, other kind of bonuses. So it looks like we got quite a few cards to get. Honestly, it's not too, too many though. Let's keep going for it. Well, we'll try to get every card. Hmm, let's get back over here. And then we'll try to take care of that guy after we blow this up. I'm having a blast though, and I hope you guys are too. Boom, get that going on. So much hard fun just to blow dudes up. Hey, you're still alive. You're not supposed to be. No, you're not. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's just where we were right there. So we would have made our way there one way or another. All right, we do have a good amount of raritanium too. Hmm, where are you, where are you going? You're, you're over here now, huh? All right, I'll start, oh, oh, I'm out of ammo for this. You know what, let's just go in, wrench first. <laughs> it works, it works! Hmm, all right. Is there anything going on down there? Not to, no, that's where we were still. Okay, darn it, are you kidding me? Right, it's information that belongs to Chairman Trek. Come on, don't make this hard on us. Give him up so no one gets hurt. Who is talking right now? Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. What is you going know on? celebrities these days. They what? do whatever they want. We uh, can work this out, can we? Uh-oh. What's going on? I'm not really sure. We gotta find out. Oh, he's being shot at right now. All right, we gotta save him. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and pull up a weapon that we haven't really used. We'll pull up another Mr. Zircon. We'll pull up the Proton Drum or the Bounce. Let's just do some more bouncing. Just bouncing around. So who's shooting at who? Oh, we got the Drek dudes. Okay, then. We're gonna Drek you up. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Um, whoa, where, where, where? Oh, no. Um, you'll make me famous. I mean, that works out pretty well as a YouTuber, but hey, I'm just gonna save you case I'm a good guy. <laughs> what, something about professional sports? I don't know. Oh boy. Come on, Zircon did all the work there. <laughs> Zircon did all of the work there. Hey, you must be the two heroes who saved my client, huh? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and Clink. Ratchet and Clank. Right, right, beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. Real marketing potential. I could sell that. Uh, listen, my client and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. Uh, think you can help me out? You have nothing to fear, sir. The sand sharks have been dealt with. Beautiful, beautiful. You two have heart. I could sell that. We are always happy to assist. He can sell anything. Oh my. And there's that gold bolt. I remember that gold bolt. All right, so we're all back here now? I really appreciate you helping us out. So where are you off to now? A hospital, I guess. Gotta get this lead checked out. A hospital? Skid, come on. You've been through worse. Uh, what are we gonna do about your sponsors? Um, I'm beginning to think you don't, like, care about me or whatever. <sighs> Fine. Uh, what about you, Wrenchy? Ratchet. Exactly. You want to be a hoverboard star? This infobot will give you all the details. Just tell him Don Wonderstar sent you. It's that time again. The annual Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition on Planet Rogar. Are you a young thrill seeker looking to show off your hoverboard skills? Then blast on over to Rilgar and experience the pulse pounding thrill of doing Mach 3 on a rocket powered piece of plastic. How exciting is the race? Just listen to some of our previous champions. I never miss the Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition. 
Uh, except for next year's. I probably won't make that one. I can't feel my toes! Is that normal? <laughs> We're offering cash prizes and hollow cards to the winners. So head to Planet Bilgar and take a shot at the most extreme sporting event in the galaxy. And uh, try not to die. <laughs> we'll try. All right, so all available attacks is completed, which is awesome. Looks like they're getting out of here. Wow, we just saved a celebrity. <laughs> Indeed, we did. So, how do we get over to that bull? I don't know if we actually can. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. I guess we really. I don't know if we can from over here. Like, what? Like, what does this bring us to? I don't think it brings us to what we wanted to bring us to. Return to the Ancients Camp, which we didn't really explore too much. I'm not sure. We'll check it out a little bit. <laughs> He's bored. Oh yeah, you're still here, Zircon, aren't you? Huh. Yeah, there really isn't too much more here. If we had anti-grav boots, we could go up here. That it needed magna boots. Perhaps you could find a pair in Nebula G34. Oh, well, this ain't Nebula G34. So maybe at some point we can find it. Like maybe it like, will bring us to an area where we can like long jump off to there. I don't know. But for now, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 4. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you've watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Galactic Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.